Good everybody and happy Tuesday. So I'm here on May 16th and in my Sarah Young book and I looked at it earlier today. About an hour or so I came in to my uh, the place where I go to my Bible and my Sarah Young book and I looked at May 16th it says trust me to show you what to do when you have finished what you are doing. <laughs> and it was like the Lord said go do what you got to do. Come back and I'll show you what, what you need to hear you know. <laughs> God is so personal you know, he's really personal with us. He, You know, if you listen for him, he's just real personal. And so, um, but one of the things that I saw, heard on TV, I think Andrew Walmack, if you uh, want to know about healing, Andrew Walmack, he's an amazing minister. So, you know, he, he's on every morning on TBN and other places. Maybe you can find him. But anyway, he's pretty good. <clears throat> but I was thinking about... Um, What's inside of us, you know? It's like the Tootsie Roll Pop, you know? Where that owl, that commercial says, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Pop, you know? And so what we see is the outer shell, but what's inside is the Holy Spirit and is the power and the goody stuff, you know? The good stuff, the yummy stuff is the Lord, you know? So um, <clears throat> it says, if you think you're great and all that, then you haven't seen the glory of God. If you're just counting on what you see on the outside and what you're looking at, you're missing, the, you're missing the glory of God. You know, what you have inside of you in the spirit is the Holy Spirit. And so we have a lot more power than we really tap into that we know. And so another thing I was thinking about is how Jesus, how he suffered on the cross and then he had to go conquer hell. And I thought about... <clears throat> And I've had this happen to me where I've invited people into my home and found that they just, you know, they were either abusive or just, you know, didn't fit into my life, whatever, you know. So I had to take the key. And so when, so Jesus, you know, and I maybe have suffered a little bit of abuse. Well, Jesus was abused. You know, God didn't do all that to him, you know, beat him up and kill him on the cross. That was the enemy that did that, right? So he had to conquer that enemy. And so what did he do? He went down and took the keys away. He took his keys, he took the devil's keys away, and he changed the lock so he couldn't get out, <laughs> couldn't come back in. So sometimes we need to take the keys away in a spiritual matter. But I know sometimes, like, you know, I've said I've had people come into my life, and I've heard of other people do. You let people into your life, you know, even into your home. And I do evictions for, you know, in my job we do evictions, and people, you know, bring in tenants and stuff, and then they can't hardly get them out. And so it's a long process, you know, to get them out. Once you get them in, it's really hard to get them out. And so, it, and that's kind of like spiritually too. Once you let the enemy in, it, it's pretty hard to fight off, you know, and get them <laughs> and get rid of them, you know. And so, <clears throat> but Jesus went there. He took the keys and he changed the locks. And I've had to do that. I've had to evict people from my home, you know, take the key away and change my locks, you know. But so in a spiritual way, we kind of have to do that, you know. And also in the physical way. Sometimes, you know, we do allow people maybe come into our lives. And once we do, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to get them out, you know. But let me tell you, one. I'm going to end with one last thing. And that is, you can listen to my videos. Always trust the Holy Spirit. Don't ever make a move, you know, or do something without the Holy Spirit guiding and leading. And you got to know that you know. You know, you can't just guess at stuff, you know. I was in a place one time at Bay Meadows and the Lord said, get out of there and dust off your feet, you know. You don't make a move unless, you know, you seek the Lord and you seek the Lord's guidance and what his answer is. So, you know, I'm telling you these things. So just to, for you to think about stuff, but always let the Holy Spirit be your guide. Always seek the, seek the word, you know, go to um, whatever means you can find, you know. That, and it's got to be a peace with your spirit. It can't make you uh, anxious, you know, to do something. You can't do something on the spur of a moment. You can't do something <clears throat> out of fear. If it's out of fear or out of pressure, somebody pressuring you, you know, or out of an emotional thing, don't make that move, you know. So um, I love you guys, and Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.